Uh, for the first time, we're hearing the recordings of those frantic 911 calls Monday night from people during that deadly gunfire. Our investigative reporter, Terry Parker, joining us now in the studio. And Terry, you can hear the terror in their voices as they stood over those wounded victims. It is just panic and chaos. People trying to tell the dispatcher where they are and what happened. At the same time, they're trying to give instructions to others trying to help victims lying bleeding on the ground. This all happening as almost a thousand people are scattering out of that park where at least 50 rounds were fired. Let's listen. The police been here the entire time. We need the ambulance. I, I, they're not yeah, listening. It's too many people the, that that can't help. It's too many people the police can't help. Right, I'm going to transfer you to rescue. Yeah, so they it, make it, it was, it was so they only about. Now it was only about two or three officers here. There's hundreds of people out here, so they're just. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for them to try to help. They're trying to calm everybody now, but I understand. There, there's at least seven officers there now, and we're getting more to come, and we can we got rescue coming as well. Okay. And the victims are in all different parts of the park. Some callers are with one wounded person, others with two or more, and some calls are coming in from people in nearby houses, also hearing the shots and running indoors. One person told the dispatcher she saw five suspicious men run past her apartment near the back of the park, one of them carrying a black duffel bag. The sheriff's office taking all of these tips seriously as they narrow down their search for the shooters. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News. Thank you.